this is amazing. You just travelled on yes. an aeroplane with no ID. Much more difficult than a triathlon. How, yes, how is that possible? How did you do that? Uh, what they do is they just pull you aside and then they call upstairs to the supervisor and then you just beg and plead and then they ask you questions and you, don't, you can't offer any information to the TSA guy because you go, because I tried to pull up my IMDB page because I, I have a little bit of celebrity. He's like, sure. sir, don't show me anything unless I ask for it. I tried to give him my social security number. Don't, I don't want any information unless you get And then once you get through that, they cross-check you. They must call, like, the Secret Service or somebody. Where'd you go? Do you go to, like, a little room? No, you're in public. Right. You're ashamed in front of the whole line. <laughs> Everyone's watching you. And then when you get to the actual screening, they do, like, the gunpowder check, you know, like, all the humiliating yeah. swabbing ear, swabbing here, swabbing there. But at yeah. what point did you know you didn't have your ID? When I got to the gate and I said, oh, <gasps> damn. Yeah, I'll, I was... Well, you really wouldn't stupid. have gotten on the line if you didn't have your ID, exactly. so it was good that you didn't exactly. know. Exactly, yeah. And they, but I quite like it when I get pulled out of a line, like, by anyone... Because you, would you ever go this way? I'm really sorry, I have to do this. I'm like, no, no, no. I'd be really like worried no. if you weren't doing this. It felt I enjoy, like... Yes. It felt like an international border. I love that he was so military about yeah, it. I yeah. agree with you. I want good security. Did I don't want jokes. Did he get up jokes. in your face? Uh, he was very stern. Right. And he very discouraged me. Anytime I tried to provide any information, he shut me down. And okay. you had left all your drugs at home, so it I do not travel with drugs. That's no. a smart no. idea. Have you ever had any trouble, airport security? Um, the entire Bush administration, I was harassed. Every no. time I came into the country, shut pulled aside. Up. I had to get two lawyer letters. Because <gasps> they won't tell you why they're stopping, because they're just doing it to harass you. It's just harassment. Hang on, are you saying... I am. That your name was put yes. on a file. Yeah. During that administration. And my phone was because tapped. Because of things that you'd said and about Absolutely. certain administrations. And also and they, in no your taxes, way. they go through your taxes. Oh, they this do is huge. They can. And what do they do to you at the airport? What do you say? Well, they just pull you aside and you say, why, why are you pulling me aside? And they say, I'm sorry, we can't tell you why. You're in the book. And you say, well, <sighs> and then they take everything and they look at everything. And then after a few years of that, you get a lawyer and you say, look, if you're going to keep doing this, we want to know why. And then they do it a little bit more. And then you get your lawyer to send another letter. And then they stopped. Yeah. <laughs> that is like deep level <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, when they take you up and handcuff you and put you in another country, that's now it sounds level fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That Before the like country. Just, that's just harassment. There's sure. other things they do that are. Oh my worse. God. Yeah, yeah. So, now, well, Matt, Matt, you might have an insight because you've just been you've been filming at the White House. Yes. You were just there, right? I was just there. How was it? Have you been before? It's it's, it's uh, historic and shabby. It's <laughs> it's very beat up. Like we got to go on the bowling alley uh, in the basement there, and it's very. They need to fix those lanes, James. <laughs> I don't know who is the architect. If yeah, that's... Does he watch your show? Anybody who does maintenance. Dave. If yeah, Dave, Dave. If Dave, if you're watching, Dave's White House maintenance, maintenance guy. we need to get a whole level of wax, because you can't put spin on the ball. It's just, they're really maybe, nicked up and they're maybe, really bad. Maybe they're waiting to see who gets in next, and then they do the redoing of it. I guess, but you know what? That's a representation of our national sport, bowling. <laughs> <laughs> they should take some pride. Or don't have it. Right. Or don't have it. Like, because don't phone a... it in. Yeah. And the balls are nicked. Like, they need to pick up. Yeah. They need to class yeah, that right. one up. They need That's to class what it the up. government should be really focusing on. <laughs> you're absolutely I, right. You, I'm glad you agree with me. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> Speaking of the White House, you spent time at the White House as a kid, right? Here you are here. Look at this handsome devil. Wow. Here, well, what's happening here? Talk us through this. So that's my sister, Shay, and I get... Nancy it. Reagan's your yeah. sister? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Getting our picture on the White House lawn. That was the heyday, by the way, of the, of the bowling alley. I, it was beautiful. Was it in good shape back oh, then? Oh. Uh, I rolled a 300. Really? <laughs> yeah. it was wonderful. Why what? were you there? It was a, a congressional picnic. And I, I'm 14. I can't remember. I'm, I'm like 80 now. So, but I remember they were like, get your picture with Nancy Reagan. And she was so many people hounding her. So that's why I was just like, take it. <laughs> take it, take it, let her go. Let this her is pre selfie. Cool. Photo bombing. Yeah, that was one of the first. Photo, photo, photo bombing, bombing. that's right. But, but, why, like, but why did you get to go to the picnic? Because my father was a congressman. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, 6th District of Kentucky. Fun. Wow. Oh, my God.